a lesson for all daily at 6 a.m. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Pastor Onyekan Evans. Today, we begin a new study on the topic, Jesus opens the way through the veil. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we are happy that you are the way, you are truth, you are life. Through and to your mercy seat, we go through you, the veil, to access God's mercy. Thank you for granting us all of that. In your son's name I pray. Amen. Well, friends, you have been journeying with us up until this point, and we are at lesson number 10. The topic, Jesus opens the way through the veil. This lesson, we have a memory text, as usual, and we'll be taking it this time from Hebrews 9 and verse 24. It reads, For Christ has not entered the holy place made with hands, which are copies of the true, but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. That is a very interesting passage, and one that reminds us that Jesus is interceding on your behalf, on my behalf, in the presence of God Almighty. Do you know that when the Jesus ascended to heaven, the disciples came down from the Mount of Olives quite hopeful, quite excited of the fact that Jesus, their friend, their surety and savior, was now exalted to a very high position, sitting at the right hand of God. They came back down the mountain, even though Jesus would have ascended, and they came back to the reality of life that had still wickedness and evil all around them. They were still a part of this world, but they were filled with hope, hope that resided and knowing that Jesus was their captain, captain of their salvation, the one who would take them through all the difficulties that they would then experience in life. The truth is that the ascension of Jesus to heaven is very important to our understanding of God as taught by the book of Hebrews. It actually marks the beginning of Jesus' rule and the beginning of his priestly ministry in the heavenly sanctuary. And this ministry is for my behalf, for your behalf. All the work that he's doing there is all for you and all for me. But you see, more importantly than that is the ascension marks the moment, the very moment that the new covenant that is built and better promises now provides a means by which I can approach God boldly before his throne. Before then, that was not possible. But this ascension of Jesus Christ and his ministration now makes it possible. So here it is. It is your privilege. It is my privilege. It is our privilege to approach God in confidence through Jesus on the merits of the righteousness of Jesus. And dear friends, to know that we can approach God boldly because of Jesus and what he has done and his ascension is the key lesson for all of us today. And the call to approach God boldly and confess all our sins before him because we have a high priest who knows our infirmities, who is ministering on our behalf. That's it, friends. That's a lesson for all. Bow your heads with me. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being our high priest, ministering on our behalf, granting us the very fact that we can come boldly before your throne, confessing our sins, acknowledging where we have gone wrong, and to be accepted in your sight and your fold through the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Not because of anything that we have done, but because of what Christ has done. Continue to work your wonderful way and miracle through us as we move through the veil now into your mercy seat, I pray in your son's name. Amen. Thank you. Join us once more for another installment in the Alpha series tomorrow at 6 a.m. Until then, have a wonderful Sabbath and a wonderful rest of week. Take care. A lesson for all daily at 6 a.m.